Sharande de Bobobosha. I pray that the ears of the listeners are open. Nana Mande de Bosuya. Their minds is open. Their minds are open. The ears of their hearts are open to receive your word, Lord. Reba kusuta la vabra shedeju brande de bosa. Bam bam bande de bobo bobosa. Makada da bahande de bosu la vabra de bobo bobosa. And I pray that this word will speak to their heart and their soul. Ah, I pray that this word will speak to their situation in the name of Jesus. Live abaku soto shana bahande de bosuya. Leba robo bobo shana baha kata yeda bahande de bebe bebe benda da baha. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Robo sata baba basete. So, you know, I wanna um, let me turn this down a little bit so y'all could hear me, hear me. I want y'all to hear me, but hear the, 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 the instrumental at the same time. But listen, you know, I have a word from God to share. And I pray that it's a word of encouragement to those who will be listening. You know, this morning, I, um, in the middle of my sleep, my sleep was disrupted um, for good reasons. The Lord was speaking to me in my sleep. Um, and, it, and I woke up with this message. And what I heard the Lord said was, Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. For those of you who feel like it has been stagnant, not moving, not expanding, not increasing, not going forward. Um, um, it feels like you've been losing people and doors are being closed. I hear God say, mm -mm, Behold, I'm doing a new thing. Shavabra soto katapa. And then he took me to, I want to go to Isaiah 43, verse 19. And it said, Behold, I will do a new, th a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And, you know, that's very profound. When you hear God say he's going to make a road in the wilderness, usually it's hard to find. You know, what, what I saw in the spirit when I just read that was a straight path in the wilderness. Because usually when you're in the wilderness of life, it's hard to find a, a, a road. It's, all, it's hard to find um, a path to take because the wilderness is so vast. It's so big and you can be easily lost in the wilderness of life. You can be easily lost. Trees are around you. So many different shortcuts are there. But I hear God say, behold, I'm making a road in the wilderness. I'm showing you a straight path in the wilderness. And then it said, you know, uh, and, and he's making rivers in the desert. When you think of a desert, it's a dry place. You know, it, there's no water there. But I hear God say he's making river like in, in the places where you think that was dried up. In the places where you think that no life can happen, nothing can be formed. The Lord said, I'm providing water. I'm providing a source of life. Because when we think of water, water is a source of life. So when he said, behold, I'm making river in the desert. What our God is saying to us that you know I'm bringing life into dead things so he's bringing path in the wilderness in the chaos in the confusion and he's also bringing life in the dead things behold he's doing a new thing Rabbi Kosoto. and sometimes we read that so quickly but I want to take time today to define the word behold the word behold means to 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 observe to watch, to survey, to scan, um, to, to notice, and to perceive. And one of my favorite words is discern. The, the, the word behold means to discern. That means that it's something that we have to do. We have to be able to perceive what God is doing. We have to be able to, to, be, um, to, to discern what he's doing. We have to be able to survey, to observe what he's doing. I hear God say, discern what I'm doing. I hear God say, observe what I'm doing. I hear God say, perceive what I'm doing. Do not be distracted and discouraged by what, it, by what you see with the natural eyes, but perceive what God is doing. And you know, one of the most important things that I hear God say is forget the former things. 
One of the things that can stop us from beholding what God is doing is when our mind keep going back to the former things, what we have lost, what we have um, let go, what, who have walked away from us, what, um, the door that has been closed, the opportunity that we thought that we were supposed to have. I hear God said, um, do not remember the former things. And it makes sense because just in verse 18, verse 18 is the verse before verse 19. And in verse 19, he's telling us to behold. He's telling us to watch. He's telling us to discern but before we can even do that we need to do not remember the former things nor the things of the old so before God told us in verse 19 to behold the new thing mm, <laughs> I feel God right there before he told us in, in verse 19 to behold the new thing he told us in verse 18 to do not remember another version say forget the former things Forget the things of the past. Forget the the, 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 the the ones who walk away. Forget the things that you had to let go. Uh, some of us are not beholding what God is doing because we're so caught up on the former things. We're so, we, we are unable to forget the things of the past. But God sent me to remind you today that to forget is a decision. You don't feel to forget. You, you, you can't say, I'm going to wait till I feel like forgetting it. You have to make a decision to forget and then make a decision to behold. Because what I hear God say is just that he's the God of new things. So he's going to be new. He's going to be doing new things regardless. And it's our job and our responsibility to behold the new things of God. Do not miss out on the new thing that God is doing in your life because you are unable to behold it because you're caught up on remembering the former things. I hear God say, let go of the former things and begin to behold, begin to participate in the new thing that God is doing in your life. Because he said, I am going to do a new thing regardless whether you're beholding it, whether you're observing it, I am going to do a new thing. And oftentimes my children miss out on the new thing that I'm doing because they fail to behold. So God sent me here this morning to remind you to behold, to behold, to behold that he's doing a new thing in your life. He's doing a new thing in your family life. He's doing a new thing in the life of those connected to you. Behold, do not block the new thing that God is doing by constantly remembering about the former things. I hear God say, let it go and walk into the new thing. Let it go and walk into the new thing. Let it go and walk into the new thing because he's going to do a new thing with or without you. Because he has to stay true to who he is. And his words say he's a God of a new thing. But he sent me here to remind you and to remind myself that, hey, even though I'm going to do a new thing with or without you, I don't want you to miss out on the new thing that I'm doing. Forget the former things and behold what the Lord is doing in your life in this season. I hear new waves, new winds, new fire. New opportunities, new strength. Somebody needed that new strength. I hear God say new strength, new focus, new revelation, ah, new healing. New healing. And you may say, what is new healing? I see somebody in the spirit. God has healed you from a thing before and it seems like it's coming up. But remember when he first touched the blind man in the Bible, he had to touch him a second time for the healing to be completed. So when I say new healing, that means a second touch of healing is coming up on you. Behold, behold, behold. God is calling us to behold. Shape a brand in the bosom.